The Aptera solar electric vehicle that we've all been waiting for for so long is getting closer and closer to production, um, we think. The fact is we can't really see behind the curtain too good. They used to do regular updates and things like this, but now that they're traded on the stock exchange, uh, stop symbol SEV if you're interested. Now that they're traded there, they gotta be a little more careful how they disseminate information. We respect that. We don't want anybody in jail, okay? We just want our car. Thank you so much for the members of the channel. You guys are the ones that keep the wheels churning on the positively charged YouTube channel. We appreciate you so much. We saw the setup they're using to do the builds that they're gonna use for crash testing and for uh, you know validation. Now somebody asked me, are they still gonna crash test these? I don't know the answer to that. So yes, we've been told they're gonna crash test them. If they have airbags, they have to crash test them and they do have airbags. One of the last videos we saw of the Aptera showed the yoke steering wheel with the opening where the airbags will go. So we believe that's still part of the plan. And if so, crash testing will have to happen. And they said they will release that data when they do. So we'll look forward to that. and We'll pass it on when we can. But the last thing we knew is they're building several of the validation vehicles. This is the vehicles they'll actually put on the road to test everything in real life, from range to suspension, just everything has to be, you know, monitored, tested and adapted from real life use, get out there on the roads. But then the plus to that is too, is when these road, these cars are on the roads all over San Diego, then more and more and more people are gonna take notice. And then the Aptera will become more and more well-known, hopefully more and more investment, and then closer and closer to actual production where I can have you know, my Aptera solar charged electric vehicle. It's an exciting journey. We've been following this company for years now. We uh, put in our reservation years ago, and we just haven't ever stopped looking for and sharing what we learn about what's going on. It's such a fun company, having met the CEO, having met the head of marketing and, and several of the people there. They're just wonderful, regular people that have a passion for building something that's just never been done before. A vehicle that charges itself. Imagine if you had a, a car that gassed itself up. You never had to think about it. It just had gas in it every morning when you got out of bed. That's the promise of the Aptera. This is a vehicle that will never possibly, depending on your driving, your use case, never be able to be, never need to be charged. I mean, it's just gonna provide its own fuel, take nothing from the grid, and possibly give some things back to the grid with vehicle to load or vehicle to, to um, the other thing, vehicle to grid or vehicle to load, uh, that's supposed to come in the future as well. So it's such a special endeavor and there's really wonderful people working on it. So we're gonna keep following this all the way to the end. The end is when I have mine. And then we'll probably still make videos as the company goes on to make more and, and more things. And, and if you do wanna go on a road trip with the Aptera, you don't have to wait for the sun to charge you up. You know, It's got a battery that'll get you about 400 miles of range on a charge, uses the Tesla charger, the NACs, which means you should have access to like all the Tesla chargers and the CCS chargers with adapters. So you'll be able to get this car on the road and just go, 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 but you'll never be stuck for longer than it takes for the uh, sun to put a couple hours, a couple of miles into your battery. And if you go camping, this is something they talk about a lot. Let's say you go camping and, and you get there and you stay a week or two, you might leave the campsite with more juice than you showed up with if your Aptera is just sitting while you're hiking and swimming, right? You're not gonna be in your car. So the Aptera solar charged electric vehicle, there's not a whole lot of updates to give other than keep your eyes on it, it's coming. And when we get ours, we're gonna share every detail with you that we can. Have a great day, everybody. Watch another video if you want, right there. I don't even know what it is yet. I'm sitting in my car, so I'll find out when I get home on this side. But it's gonna be about the Aptera solar charged EV. I'm Chad with Drive the Lightning, the Positively Charged YouTube channels. Thank you.